Son, Yad, and Negma, and welcome back to another episode of Random Pay-Per-View. This is part two, and this is the Fatal 4-Way Hell in a Cell match. And, uh, I did check the difficulty, and it was on normal. I felt like it was on easy, because I felt like I was getting frustrated and I needed to take some steam out, so I put it on easy. No, it was on normal. So, I did bump that up to hard. And this is a Fatal 4-Way Hell in the Cell match. I did put it on Epic for match experience. And I did go in and I made it a False Counts Anywhere Hell in the Cell match. And uh, as you can see there, you see a guy with horns. That is Grover Underwood from the Percy Jackson series. That Asian guy right there, that's Frank Zhang. He's also from Percy Jackson. That other guy, the shirtless guy. That's Keith. That is my cousin's created avatar. A little known fact about me. This is Frank Zhang, right? He's he is the son of Mars, the god of war. And for Romans, that's really great news for him because they praise Mars pretty heavily. He he honestly wanted to be the son of Apollo, but that didn't happen. Because he likes to use a bow and arrow. He likes archery. But here's a little no fact about me. is I don't like Frank Zhang. Honestly, all that much. I don't hate him. I just don't like him. His character is not interesting to me. In any way, shape, or form. So that's why I gave him Mr. Ass's uh, video. Because I, I find him to be a bit of an ass. Not the character. The character. He's, he's too nice. If you know what I mean. He's really nice. This would be... Grover Underwood. I like Grover as a character. He's pretty cool. He's pretty chill. Grover is a satyr. He is half a goat. I can't really portray that very well. And uh, regardless of any interpretation or adaptation of the series itself, I've always pictured Grover as a colored guy rather than a white guy. I don't know why. I've always pictured him colored. I just always did. I've never imagined Grover being Caucasian in any way, shape, or form. I just now realized something. They defaulted him back to his regular outfit because I like his traveling outfit much better. Makes me mad they do that. But oh well. Whatever, I'm not Grover anyway. This right here is Leo Valdez. He is the son of Hephaestus. And he has a mouth like none other. This little guy is sarcastic as hell. And he's pretty funny. Which is why he's one of my favorite characters. He's my third favorite character of all time in the series itself. Between the Percy Jackson series and the Heroes of Olympus. I like him so much. Which is why he is the character I'm controlling in this match. And the fourth and final participant is based off of my cousin because when he comes over, sometimes he likes to use his own create avatar, so I had him create his own avatar. Well, he did. And uh, this is what he used as his entrance. I don't know why. But I will say that this is the most modest version he's ever used of himself. Most of the times he creates a character, it's all jacked up. Yet yeah, he's not jacked up in this one. I don't know why he does in the others, but he does. He did for this one. But oh well. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go back to Leo Valdez for a second. And uh, explain to you a little further why he's my favorite character of all time in the Percy Jackson universe, I guess you could say, realm, whatever, is that he's an underdog by far, and throughout the series there was one, I think it was in the second book, they ran into Nemesis, and Nemesis told him that he was the seventh wheel of the whole entire series, 
because everybody else had a couple. Everybody else was a couple. Percy and Annabeth. Hazel and Frank. Jason and Piper. The other six were all with somebody else within the group and Leo was just hey <laughs> you had a thing with my grandpa Hazel <laughs> there we go these four competitors have entered yeah, the just devilish hell in a cell really loud yeah not a great start <laughs> reversed reversed we've got this Leo is gonna destroy everybody with Festus <laughs> Festus is his, uh, his metal dragon that he created. Festus is a freaking beast. Uncounted me. But guess what? I got counters too. And uh, one thing also about Leo in this game is that I freaking love the way Leo turned out. Leo is by far my favorite one that I've created. I did not want to attack Keith. But... No harm, no foul, I guess. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. Forget who this is. I, oh, it's X-Pac. I remember now. That's X-Pac. Duh. Should have thought about that. There's not that many people who have done it. I mean, Mysterio had a Bronco Buster in one of them. I think it was 08. They brought that in from Mysterio. Oh. Shizzle Bizzle. Did not expect that to be your submission. I don't like submissions this early on in the game. They're too risky, if you know what I mean. Oh, this is intense -ish. Not really. Just gonna blam. What are you do? Oh, God. That was just terrible all around. He went for the wrong person. And I paid for it because I got kicked in my chest. But uh, I'm still kicking ass, so there's that. I mean, amped up to hard. What are you, what are you doing? I just be a hard and grapple thing, and they're very fresh. Boing! Oh, I did not expect to get that. Honestly, I hardly ever get those. Ever since uh, they implemented them. First in 2009. 2009, they were very easy for me. I don't know why. But in the later ones, those are very hard to pull off for me. Because almost every time I do, especially when they're standing up, I can do it fine when they're on the ground. But when they're standing up, I can almost never do it like that. I mean, it's just perfect. Boom. Trouble in Paradise. Kofi Kingston. The and yeah, he's called the mechanic because Leo. <gasps> if you don't know anything about Hephaestus, Hephaestus is uh, the god of fire. So he spends a lot of time in the forges creating stuff. So it turns out that a lot of Hephaestus people are very handy with tools. So Leo's got this magical tool belt in which he can pull out anything he needs. Anything. And uh, I barely brushed him, and I paid heavily for it. And when I say heavily, I mean heavily. I paid heavily for it because literally I got. Oh, ow, ow! You're a big guy, Frank. It's no, no. So you get kicked in the face. You don't. You don't need to get up. Freaking. No. I will do this. I will get this. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Whatever. No, get out of here, Frank. Did I say? Did I say we were done? Apparently, I did because uh, we're 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 done. Like we're done. Yeah, we got that big DDT going on here. Ooh. Gosh. Okay. Okay. Yeah, he knocked me down with that. That's not safe. So I'm just gonna taunt. That was terrible. My part. Oh gosh, I didn't realize he was gonna run. That is also another thing I'm terrible at in this game. I am terrible at uh, countering runs. I really am. Why am I picking up Keith? I don't want to pick up Keith. 
I want to go back to fuck you, Keith. I don't want you, Keith. Get out of here, Keith. No. Nope. Yeah. You can take that. I don't want you. I want you. Yeah, that's right, Grover. You go back to Keith. You just leave Frankie to me. Frankie and I are gonna have some fun. Ow. Ow. Just. Oh. Okay. That happened. That happened. Oh, I missed with my leap of faith. In case y'all don't know what that move is called, that is called the leap of faith. Made famous by none other than Shane O'Mac. Shane McMahon. Yeah, you're gonna. Well, boom. Don't. Don't. There we go. Yeah, I drop kicked him. I got that drop kick. Got that drop kick game. Come on. Yeah, yeah. This is exa exactly what I wanted. Is it gonna happen? Is it gonna happen? Nope. Guess not. Gonna. Oh, okay. I'm gonna get. I forget what that's called. Oh, it's called the butterfly. Something. Suplex, I think? Nope. You're not gonna. You're not gonna do that to me. So. But I am gonna do this to you. You're gonna get a, a zero count. It's perfect. Apparently, I can't knock you down, so. Let's climb this cage. I mean, it, what I'm doing right now is pretty stupid and risky at that because those two are in the ring by themselves and uh, Frank's glitching. So, let's taunt. And uh, let's, let's do this. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Let's see what this gets me. Okay. Don't know about you, but realistically, I think that would have uh, garnered myself a three count. It's uh, I'm a bit bewildered why I didn't really. Okay, yeah. No. No. Thank God. Yeah, yeah, I am. I'm also sexy. Nice touch there. Oh yeah. We are. You want to know why? Because I'm gonna beat his ass. Can I do this? Oh, no, I cannot. But I can't talk. What are you out shaking that money? Oh. Oh, I'm still taunting. <laughs> no. Oh, you're you. We've got this. We've got this. Boom. Oh. Okay. Okay. Uh, no. I'm not dealing with that comeback. Y'all can deal with that comeback. <laughs> I'm just gonna. Oh, we'll come back. I don't. Oh. Okay, Leo. Spank that ass. Spank that ass. I don't want to do it, Grover. Boom! You do that, buddy. You do that. Okay, yeah, I'm just, just going to wait for my opportunity. And that's how you pick your moments, ladies and gentlemen. And we're inside a fatal four-way, hell in the cell, epic hard. A legend begins. I don't know exactly what that means. Okay, I guess that's the first time I've ever wrestled on hard. Interesting. 
That's not exactly where I wanted it in the match. I wanted it in the match on the outside, but... Inside, good. I mean, I pinned who I wanted to pin. I pinned Frank. Yay. That's exactly who I wanted to pin. Either way. That is the fatal four way hell in the same hell in the cell match. If I can speak correctly. Between Leo Valdez, Frank Zhang, Keith, and Grover Underwood. And that is all for this this match. Next time, it'll be a triple threat.